All right, well, it's been a while. It's been kind of slow lately. I, the only thing I've really been doing is selling hay, but I'm sold out now, so I'm gonna start working on this tractor. I got some, some projects I wanna do to it. I've uh, actually got a skid steer quick attach coming for the front. We're gonna get that rigged up on there, get it welded on, and I'm gonna paint this loader blue to match the rest of the tractor. But this project is, I know there's some moisture in it and you can't hardly tell, but uh, my tagometer doesn't work. So I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with it. I'm gonna show you all how to fix it because this isn't the first time that this has happened and it's a pretty common problem on these tractors. I'm willing to bet, I'd bet a hundred dollar bill that if I pull this apart, the cable's broke inside of here. So. I'm gonna go get a pair of pliers, loosen this nut, and I'll show you how to fix a tachometer cable on a Ford diesel tractor. All right, so I got a pair of channel locks. Well, pop that little cap loose. All right, got it loose. Now let's see if I owe y'all an imaginary hundred dollar bill. Yep, it's broke inside there. On there, there's a metal piece that uh, is broke off. Let me go get a pick so I can get it out and show you all. All right, I'm gonna see if I can try it out there with a screwdriver so I can show you. Uh, it ain't working too well. Looks like I'm gonna need a pair of needle nose. Try these channel locks again. Here it is. Oh, you know what? That's not broke. That is not broke. Uh oh. I don't know why that's not broke. We're gonna pull a dashboard off real quick. See if that's broke behind there. Alright, let me get a screwdriver. What are you doing over there, Sadie? Playing on the hay fork? He's gonna fall on that. It's sharp. Pull these screws out of here. slide this dash out see if my issues in there sure hope this dashboard isn't trash this gauge cluster is only not even a year well probably right at a year old I replaced it last fall so that, that got this tractor last July Come here, phone, camera. So, this is where the tack cable goes on the back here. Ooh, looking at the sky. It is broke off in there. Okay. So, I was right about it being broke off, just wrong spot. Put that tool back where it goes. All right, I gotta go get a better pick. Well, long story short, I ended up pulling this whole gauge cluster apart yesterday. And the inside of here, this is the tagometer gear. The inside of there is stripped out. So we're gonna run over there and I'm gonna show you that cable is actually not messed up. When I had pulled it off the generator, uh, I'll, I'll go show you. When I pulled this cable off the generator, I slid the plastic sheathing back too far to where you couldn't see the square end of this cable. So there's nothing wrong with this cable. 
I ordered a new gauge cluster last night. It'll be here in five days. Hopefully. That skid steer attached from the front was supposed to be here three days ago. It's still not here yet. So Shipping's all messed up this year. So We'll continue back with this one once the gauges get here. Well, I got a box here. Should be for this Ford tractor. Let's open it up and see. Oh, a box in a box. I love that. Ooh, I don't think they were very fragile with that box. All right. All right, well, this should fix that tachometer. All right, get everything hooked up. Then this is your tachometer cable. Get it lined up in there. Oh, it's got a cap on it. Helps when you take that cap off. Straighten the camera up here. Screw the cap on, or screw the collar on. Got all my wires hooked up, back up like they were. Set it back down on the dash. All right, take the screws, screw it all back in like it was. Grab the wrong screwdriver, it's a little too small. See if it works. Got it neutral. Push the fuel valve in. how to fix the tachometer on your Ford tractor now I'm really surprised that it wasn't the cable usually the end of the cable breaks off right there and you just take your little pick and dig it out and replace the cable because that's happened to this tractor before I was very surprised that the instrument cluster itself was messed up so big, big shot but it's fixed now took about a week for the part to get here but it's working now, so that's good.